How's it going ladies and Bruce Design Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Tales of the Neon Sea. Uh, I don't know what to do next. I think our next investigation is with this robot, but we need a... Uh... This robot steward is a key player in the murder, but what was his role? We need to investigate the robot. But I don't know how to do that at this stage, so I think we're leaving. We need to get, um... Permission from the boss. I didn't kill her! No, no, not me, no, not me. We have some solid evidence and a clear motive. You can't hope to get away with it. And I have the means to get the truth out of you when we're back at the police station. This guy's a bad cop, man. He's just gonna beat the man up until he tells the truth, until he tells him that he did it. Rex, you're the person I need right now. This is the suspect, Christopher. He's one of the homeless people from the neighborhood and he was pawning jewelry at the store this morning. The jewelry belonged to Miss Perry. This guy? I've seen him around. He isn't capable of murder. Maybe theft and burglary, but not murder. First of all, the timing isn't right. According to the investigation of the corpse, the theft happened four to five hours after the time of death. If he wanted to murder someone for their valuables, he wouldn't have waited hours before he took them off the body. Secondly, there are no traces of him at the primary murder scene. Mrs. Perry's home. If he wasn't present at the primary crime scene, that means he was the thief, but not the murderer. Exactly. You're absolutely right, sir. I stole the jewellery, but I didn't kill anyone. Based on all the evidence we've collected at the crime scene, the little girl named Jenny should be our prime suspect right now. The main suspect is a little girl? What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, Carl. Take him away. And we'll talk later. Yes, sir. Let's go, pal. And try anything funny. That cop is a dick, man. What an asshole. Roy, I need you to get Jenny. I have to ask her some questions face to face. Okay, I'll get her. We'll need to find out more about that robot too. Yes, there's a lot suspicious about him. I need your authorization to examine him from the inside. No problem. If you find it, I'll find you if anything turns up. Alright. Let's go check out that robot. Time for a puzzle, I would imagine. This game's gonna be hard, I reckon. Some of the puzzles are pretty nasty, man. Although I'm not very good at that kind of thing, as you know. The outer shell of the robot's head. In order to access the electronic brain, I must first unlock each slot and remove the covering. My god, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. I can proceed by sliding out pieces that aren't interlocked with others. The age of the robot means that the system isn't too complicated. Oh, the age of this robot. I don't understand. So you slide it downwards. They're all interlocked with something. Depending on which way you pull it. No. Ah! Alright, we're getting there. Not that one. One, two, three, four, five. That one can be pulled up then, I assume? Good, good. Whew. Oh my god, more puzzles? A primitive form of anti-tamper protection. Modern robots don't use the system anymore. I just need to move the signal to the center target. Is this like Pipe Dream? Oh my god. Hmm. 
I'm confused. <laughs> my bed, my bed. Uh, up. That way? That way. That way. That way. That way. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, thank God. We made it. We made it. Oh, another one. What the? There's an implanted device. He was hacked to do the bidding of the small child. What? What's going on? This is the robot's memory. Why didn't he save Miss Perry's life? That's a violation of robot principles. My head, it hurts so bad. Hey, Rex. Rex, what's wrong? Rex? What's wrong with you, Rex? You seem to be in great pain just now. I don't know, I... I think there's something wrong with this robot. There's some kind of device implanted in its brain. We'll talk about that later. The case is being taken over by the Secret Service Division, and we need to withdraw from the investigation. The SSD? What the hell is going on? Solid state drive. We found Jenny. Turns out she's the daughter of an important man. No sooner had I retrieved her file than the order to transfer authority of the investigation came in. They're already here. This place is now under our control. Leave as soon as possible and stay out of our investigation. Man in black. He's not even in black. He's in blue. Liar. Dirty liar. I don't want to leave. This area is now under our control. Please leave. Royd. Inspector Royd. It's quite surprising that you're asking a private detective to ins to assist with your investigation. Rex found the crime scene, so we asked him to help with the investigation, that's all. You just asked him to help? Is that standard police procedure? I've heard you decided to make our Miss Jenny a suspect. Jenny, can you tell me what happened yesterday? I was at Alice's tea party and went home when it was over. We found your fingerprints on the table on on the tea set on the table. So Miss Perry was having you as her guest then. Well, I was having my usual visit to Miss Perry's place like I promised. I stayed for just a while. I have no idea what happened to her. Please tell the truth, Jenny. I've seen the robot steward's memories, and I know you were there when Miss Perry was immobilized on the couch. The steward went crazy and attacked Miss Perry. I ran away because I was scared. I'm afraid that's not possible. From the splash of blood, the strike came from below Miss Perry's height. The robot steward is simply too tall to have delivered a strike consistent with the evidence we've discovered at the scene. The blow was also not strong enough to be inflicted by a robot. All signs point to a child. That's... Uh, I... Miss, you don't have to answer his questions. We'll find a professional to record a proper testimony later. Detective, you viewed the robot's memory without permission, didn't you? About your so-called lethal weapon. Where is it? Oh, the cat's got it. Yes! William, you're the man! <laughs> man, William, always coming through. There it is! They like their apples, birch! Is that the- is- This is it. Well, now that we have the alleged murder weapon, all we have to do is match the blood and fingerprints. Well, that's our job now. Please leave immediately. Well, Inspector Royd, maybe I should have a chat with your superiors. That won't be necessary. We, we were just about to leave. Wait a minute, I have something for Jenny. Oh, birthday present. Jenny, this is from Miss Perry. Is it for me? Is this... Dear Jenny, you're a kind and lovely girl, often coming to chat with me. Today is your birthday and you're about to become a little adult. I know you like Elizabeth very much, so I've decided to give her to you today. I know you'll definitely be good to her. I believe this because you're a loving child. By the way, I have also made a nameplate. Which has already been engraved with your name. From today, Elizabeth is yours. I hope that you grow up happily. 
and I'll always be happy with your favorite cakes and fruit teas when you need them. What? How could this be? I, I didn't want to harm her. Miss Perry, I'm sorry. It's that robot he... Jenny, about that robot, can you tell? Enough, Inspector Royd! Get this person out of here. He should never have been here in the first place. Inspector Hemroid? <laughs> Royd, I believe there's something unusual about that robot. If we give up now, we'll lose critical evidence. Now that the SSD has taken over, we can't really continue the investigation, even if we want to. To hell with those guys. Can you get a picture of that implanted device? I didn't have a chance to take one. It won't be easy. You had an unusual reaction earlier, didn't you? Did something happen? Well, I'm not quite sure. Now that I think about it, maybe something on that robot affected me. I see. Also, is there something else? Also, there's something else. But let's talk later tonight, somewhere quiet. There's a good bar I know. Alright, I need to ask someone about the implanted device first. I need to head back to the station now. I'll send you the address of the bar I mentioned. Okay, I'll see you later. Rebuild the special case team? Well done, William. How did you find that lethal weapon? William was meowing and dancing and dancing. It seemed he had quite an experience. Oh, are we going to be William for a while? It's been a while since we've been William. Elizabeth, are you saying it was you who took the candle stand away, meow? <laughs> That's his voice. He sounds like a fancy man. Yes, I was thinking it. I couldn't let Miss Jenny let Jenny hit Miss Perry with that thing again, so I took it away. Good thinking. But now it's a very important piece of evidence. If we can get it back, we can confirm the suspect. B but I lost it. Calm down, Elizabeth. It's okay. Please tell me what happened. I, I was so scared after I jumped off Miss Perry's windowsill that before I knew what was happening, I'd run into the Biocats territory. Then... Then... Biocats. Sounds scary. Oh, look at them. Dog! It's all my fault. Hmm, the Biocats territory. A falling billboard. I think I know the place. Really? That's great. Elizabeth, time is running out. I need to find that lethal weapon now. Get some rest and wait for me. Cat away! Da -da -da -da. Oh. I don't think going over there is a good idea. There's lots of electric death over there. Okay, we're missing a lever. Alright. Come on, William. Let's go. Hey. Thanks to the insightful leadership of the boss, we cats have driven those damn biocats from the Fitcher family out of the district. We cats are the most powerful family. Meow. Indeed. Well done. Lever. Are you the boss? Meow, meow, meow! Are you interested in my work? Uh, I'm more interested in that control stick. A cat of fine taste, I see. Perhaps you are my soulmate. For you see, that is my masterpiece. Sure, can you, can you give it to me? The other cats don't appreciate my work. Do you really want it? I can give it to you on one condition. If you can answer three questions correctly about me and my family, I'll give you the control stick. Are you ready for the question? Uh, in a minute. We're gonna go find out information about it first. Alright, who are we gonna talk to about this then? You. One of the boss's favorite quotes. Each cat has their own destiny. My destiny is to be a slave for Miss Connie. Oh, Miss Connie. That's Miss Connie. What a bizarre color of fur, just like those bio cats. Humans have such strange taste. True that. Tessio went and stole the catnip again. He told us he was clean. But look at all the trouble he's caused. He deserved to be punished by the boss. Meow. Who knows what kind of sickness that blue cat got from the human beings. He's been calling himself an artist recently. Okay. So he's on the catnip, is he? Who else do we need to talk to? You? The no passing order is still in effect. You can't proceed without a permit. Meow. To meow with it. Seems like you have to pay the, a visit to the boss. The infamous Vito Bourbon. Alright, let's try this. I'm ready for the questions. What is my profession? An artist. Correct, Meow. I'm a rising star. Next question, Meow. 
A quotation from the boss. Each cat has their own destiny. Correct, Meow. I have my own destiny too, and that is art. Next question. What is the name of our rival family? Fitcher. Correct, Meow. Those bio cats have no artistic taste at all. You answered all correctly. You really are my soulmate. As promised, here is my all-time greatest masterpiece as a gift. Meow. So artistic. All right, we got the control stick. Let's let's book it. I'll be back, fellas. Don't even worry about it. Ah, that's what it do. Is that helpful? I'm not sure that's helpful. Ah, it is. Ah, it is. Can I eat these fish? Aha! We are getting somewhere. <laughs> we are getting somewhere. Let's get there. My French accent, not so good. <laughs> Apologies. I don't have much of a French audience, but any French people that are watching, I'm sorry. My eyes are blinded by the light. I'm so jealous of those guys down there. Getting to see Miss Anna every day. Do you want to meet the boss? Well, I can get you over there if you can turn the color of the neon lights to the color of Miss Anna. Well, shit, I don't remember that. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to the poster. Because it was on the poster. Not that way. Up here. In here. Red, yellow, green. Red, yellow, green. Rudy Biv. <laughs> we got this, fools. Ha cha. I love being William. This whole game should just be me being a cat. Oh crap, I didn't mean to go up there. Did I? No, I didn't. It's nearly right already then. The green and yellow just need to swap. Boop. 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 Yes, Miss Anna's hair has been correctly restored. You deserve a meeting with the boss for your courage and wisdom. Jump on the platform. Meow. Thanks, big boy. You the man. Is the boss in here? Oh, you're scary looking. Meow, hold it right there. Who do you think you are just walking in here like that? It's okay, Bratzy. Let's not scare our little friend here. Sorry, boss. I was just worried that there's no need for concern. In fact, he might have arrived at precisely the right time. The Bourbon family could use a cat like him. You must be William. I've heard about you. Respectful, Don Vito. I need your permission to enter the Biocat's territory. Courageous and respectful, these virtues are mostly lost among the younger generations. This is a turbulent time for our family, and its territory, so I declare to no passing order. No cat shall pass except for family. The good news for you is that I require some assistance for a very important task. If you agree to do it, you will have my blessing to travel as you please. Guess I don't have a choice. Seems like the Godfather has given me an offer I can't refuse. Each cat has their own destiny. Now that you are here, make the most of it. Well done, Vito. What can I do for you? A biochemical cat has infiltrated our family and is a threat to us all. I need you to help me root him out. Do you have any idea who it might be? Well, <clears throat> talk to my counselor Martin about the details. He knows all about these bio cats. Alright, I got it. Looks like you need some rest. Tell him if you have any clues. <coughs> you can trust him on this. You'll be a friend to the Bourbon family if you can complete this task successfully. But your friends underestimate your advantages and your foes overestimate your disadvantages. Okay. Father grounded me because of the Fitcher family event. I'm so bored. Meow. Yeah. Sweetheart, can you play with me? Well, actually, I'm kind of busy right now. What's the rush? 
Surely you can spare a few moments to play the piano for me. Well... Come on, follow my steps, meow. Too much! Yes! Very good. Looks like I need to make it harder for you. Listen up close- No! No! Ah, oh, not again. Six, four, four, five. Three, one. God damn, that is too much. I'm not good at these memory things, because I don't memory good. Very impressive. I like your performance. This little ball is for you. <gasps> Free little ball. How did you know exactly what I wanted? A pretty leather ball. The cat scratches on the ball. Show how the owner loved it a lot. There's a, a, a lever thing behind the this big brutish cat here. Nobody can hurt Don Vito when I'm around. Okay. Calm down. All right, we're gonna go do this mission for Don Vito, I guess. However, whatever the hell that means. Push the button. Can I get off? I can. If you are here, it means you must have accepted the boss's task. So regarding that bio cat, that traitor, the boss and I have someone on our minds already. Tessio, one of the founding members of the family, is addicted to baked catnip. You can usually find him taking a nap in the safe box. Polly, the leader of the Seven Team, likes to imitate human ninjas and is always trying to conceal or disguise himself. There's one more, you may have already met him. One of the most trusted members of the family, the boss's right hand man, Bradsy. Bradsy is a suspect too? He's a suspect. When it comes to those damn biocats, you can't be too careful. I have a question. How do you recognize a biocat? Recent biocats have been easily recognized from their looks, however, the first generation biocat we're looking for is a bit different. Wait, first generation biocats? I thought they'd all died out. Maybe. Maybe not. I recently found a room full of books in an abandoned apartment nearby. So I had some of the other cats, uh, others create a library. I found a picture of the first generation bio cats, but I couldn't read the human words. But you, William, you might be able to read some as you're closer to the humans than most around here. You've done your research, haven't you? Yeah, I can read a little. Perfect. Go find the materials you need in there, and let me know if you discover anything valuable. One more thing. Remember the law of Omerta. Do not speak of this to anyone else. Where's the library? In here? Who is it? Tessio is on a break. Leave me alone. Mr. Tessio, can you please open up? I need your help. I'm busy. Not interested. Leave me alone. I need to get Tessio to come out of there. Didn't Martin say something about baked catnip? Oh, yeah. Where am I going to find some baked catnip? What does this cat do? You haven't accomplished the task for the boss. You can't go there yet. Okay. Can open it from the inside. What does this one do? I feel like we're going to be this cat for a while, huh? Just a thought. Let's talk to this guy. Is that tinfoil in his hands? Is it okay for this guy to be playing with tinfoil all the time at work? Why not? What's wrong with tinfoil, man? You got a problem with tinfoil? I don't see what the problem is, homie. Can I get down? I can get down. What do these do then? Oh. I see. 
What does this one do then? Oh. I see even more. Can I get up there? I can't. What does this one do? Missing a lever. Is that the lever that Bradsy's got? I think that must be the lever that Bradsy's got. Oh, balls. Well, that was a pain in the ass. I didn't realize it was going to do that shit in Christ. So once you use it to go back up, you're stuck. God damn. This is going to be a long ass puzzle, I think. Especially since I don't even really know what I'm doing. Apart from fighting bake catnip. Hit this lever. We got a ball, I'm sure that'll come in handy somewhere. But I don't know what for at this stage. This way? What's in here? Catnip? Is this the library? Catmint. It's catnip, beware. Many cats have met their end as a result of this. Okay. I can climb up on here as well. And then we go through the vent. There's an axe in the door, for Christ's sake. Why the hell did that bring us back up here? That's not helpful. Is there anything else in here we can use? Ah, here we go. What do we got here? Old pet magazine with detailed information about first generation bio cats. Their strengths and weaknesses. Looks like I need to find a tinfoil product for the test. We know a guy who's got tinfoil. But I don't know how to get it off of him. Oh well, we'll figure it out. That goes up, so we don't need to reset everything. The tinfoil man's gone to sleep. <gasps> He's made a tinfoil horse. I gotta go steal it. And we got catnip, but we need to bake that somehow. So that we can make that cat baked. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Shit. Alright, alright. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Like this. Steal the horse. Do you buy a cat's dream of electric rats? A real buy a cat will definitely fail this test. Time to find the test subjects. Alright. Well, we know where Tessio is. But we need him to come out first, don't we? So we need to bake that catnip. Ah, no, no, not out the door. I wanted to use the oven to bake the catnip. Alright, well, we've got the catnip. We just gotta figure out how to bake it. Who are the other test people we needed to test? What can I use on you? This? The ball! Freshly baked catnip, yes! He loves that ball, man. Look at him. Look what I found. This is... This is... It, it is. Freshly baked catnip. Give it here. Young man, show me the res show some respect to the elderly. I need to run quick test and you just relax and tell me how you feel when you see this item. If the boss says so, do what you gotta do. What is this, you little punk? Get lost if you have no other business. 
Test is done, thank you for your time. This guy's a catnip junkie. There's no way you can fake the tin before a reaction. He's not the one. Alright, well that's one down. Who are the others? Oh, there's the the big heavy up the top. Tessio went and stole the catnip again. He told us all he was clean, but look at the trouble he's caused, yeah. We're gonna try the heavy cat. The big big bruiser up the top. Can we use this? Yeah, shortcut. I can't remember who the third one was though. Let's try this guy. Kid, leave me alone. I need to run a quick test on you. Just relax and tell me how you feel when you see this item. Don't you trick me! Did the boss react to the unicorn just now? What is this? Are you playing with me? No, I've completed my test. Thank you for your cooperation. Brancy had the normal reaction, but the boss's reaction was a bit unusual. Let your friends us re- yeah. I got my eye on you. You're more talented than I thought. I like you. Okay, well there's one other, so the boss might be the biocat after all. Who would have thunk? Who's the other cat though? Who was the third one? Not you. Let's go talk to the, the informant guy again. This yellow cat here. There's the catnip junkie, Bradsy. Oh, you're not gonna tell me? Can I check my my hang on. Do I have anything any hang on? Paulie! Who the hell's Pauly? It's none of these guys. I've checked all these guys. Alright, where are we gonna find Pauly? Big fat Pauly! Can we go in that window up there? Is that where Pauly might be? What if we change up number two here? What does that do? Okay, okay, that could be interesting. Let's just see what haps. What the haps haps. What the haps are Then through here. Hang on. You got some skills to th see through my disguise. Paulie? Did the boss send you here? Let's see to run a test, relax. Hmm. Polly passed the test with no reaction. You passed the test, thanks for your cooperation. None of the test subjects reacted to the tinfoil. It seems none of them are biocats. What about the boss and his weird reaction? Better report to Martin first. Alright. Oops! Mistake! Sorry! Alright, Jesus, we need to wrap this episode up. Though we'll do some cuts to make that a little bit shorter because it took me ages to figure out where to go. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably wrap this one up here and then we will... In confront the boss in the next episode. I guess. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching! Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one!